Seguramente no puede hacer mucho más, pero... Juega Andrés Iniesta, división... Sí. Y un remate de cabeza Ante un equipo como Atlético de Madrid Si alguien me diga ¿Cómo vas a meter un gol contra el Team Madrid? No va a ser de aquella forma What is going on everybody? How are we all doing? And welcome back today to another FIFA 17 player review And today we're going to be looking at the Barcelona and Croatia central midfield superstar Ivan Rakitic If you do enjoy this player review As always let's make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video Subscribe to the channel if you are new right here and comments and feedback always appreciated down below. I do want to quickly say, anyone that missed it, the reason there hasn't been an upload on the channel for a couple of days, I actually got invited to do a search and discard with our Lucas that went up on Sunday on his channel. So if you have missed that, go and check that out. The link will be down in the description. And a massive hello and welcome to the channel to any of you that might be new that have jumped over here from that I Lucas video. So a massive welcome to all of you guys. Hopefully you enjoy the content that's on show over here. And like I said, today we're going to be kicking things off with an Ivan Rakitic player review. We're going to start off with the basic information. As always, he stands at six foot tall. He's got medium to medium work rates and his skill moves and weak foot are three star and three star. Kind of surprising actually. To me, Ivan Rakitic is someone that you imagine to have perhaps a four star weak foot because he seems like a technically good player, as silly as that might sound, but only a three star weak foot. Looking at his base card and top five in game stats, he's an 87 rated central midfielder. His base card stats, you're looking at 66 pace, 82 dribbling, 84 shooting, 86 passing, 66 physical, and 59 defending. And you look at those sort of passing and shooting stats, and I played him at a camp because of those stats. You want to get this player as far forward in midfield as possible to be scoring and providing, in my opinion. Uh, his top of in-game stats, his top one is an outstanding 92 long passing. He also comes with 88 long shots, 88 curve, 87 short passing, 80, uh, 87 ball control, sorry. And he also comes with the finesse shot and the corner specialist traits and specialities. You can see the team that we used to be in on the screen now. It's a, um, it's a pretty nice team, actually. We played him in the 4-3-1-2 in that sort of camp position advanced in the midfield like I've already mentioned and in the five games that we played he came away with two goals and three assists but I have got to mention two or three I think it was two of the games I got disconnected early I've been having lots of problems with the EA servers lately but um yeah perhaps could have been a bit better but still not a terrible terrible return nevertheless uh, we're going to get stuck into some of the clips of Rakitic in action now and um, to summarize he's a very very good cam but he does lack a couple of things, and the things that I'm going to say straight to his skill moves, I do wish he had four-star skill moves, in my opinion, particularly in the attacking area of the field. You want someone with their skill moves, the Megidi spin, all that kind of stuff can be so useful, the stop and turn, sorry, not the Megidi spin. He's, uh, he's weak foot again, I've already mentioned, I thought it was going to be better than the three-star. It would be amazing if it was four or five-star again, as a can that makes it so much better, because he can go either side, play the ball either way, shoot on either foot. But still... When you do keep him on that right peg, his left foot's not terrible, but when you do keep him on that right peg, you've got yourself a very, very tasty player. His passing is absolutely outstanding. Set piece-wise, he's decent as well, and he did, did smash in a very nice penalty for me. And like I say, he's just a quite a very, a quite a well-rounded player, really. He doesn't feel weak. He's got good passing. His shooting's decent. His dribbling's good. You could say he lacks a bit of pace, but I feel like he gets away with it in that composition. I do think, especially with a chemistry style on him, you will get away with that 66 pace in that composition. And overall, we're going to be giving him an 8.3 out of 10. Like I say, he's only on negatives. His, technical, his technicals, and what I mean by that, are his weak foot and his skill moves. Like I say, he feels strong on the ball. Dribbling is exceptional, passing is outstanding, and his shooting as well, when you can keep it on that right foot, is absolutely outstanding also. So 8.3 out of 10 is what he's getting overall. That is going to wrap up this play review. Like I said at the start, lads, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video. Lads, have a great rest of your night. Nidge out. Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.